Hey guys, um, I'm gonna be doing some early spring cleaning. Uh, this video is gonna be about that. I'm just gonna show a little bit. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick what's left of my garden from last year because I didn't clean it up, I just left it all out, which is terrible. And the importance of sanitizing your planting stuff because there's all sorts of words I can't pronounce and I forget, parasites and, not parasites, there's diseases there's a thing that starts with P that isn't parasites. Puh. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but if you use old soil or you have like funguses and just stuff like that, like left on your pots, especially if you've left old wet dirt in it all winter long, and if it wasn't super cold, you can have all sorts of nasties growing. And when seeds are growing, they're very susceptible to all sorts of things. So I want to go through and I want to clean up I want to go clean up. I'm going to try to, I've got to get rid of this dirt because this is a rental house. It's salvage my little tiny bed right here. Uh, this is some kale I grew from seed. I'm probably going to clean him up and put him in a pot for now. The rest of this stuff, I think this is, um, I forget, it's a really spicy uh, leafy green. I forget what it's called. These are some little tiny baby lettuces I literally planted three months ago but because it got too cold. They never actually took root or did very well. Um, but they, they still eat. They're still fairly edible. They're just kind of crisp. This is my lemon tree. I'm giving him some sun since it's not too cold. We're really hoping we can save him. Now up here, that was a tiger tomato plant. This is my chocolate mint. As you can see, this is all dead. However, if you look in here, It'll let you look. There are some living material in there of the chocolate. So I'm going to be pulling it out of here and putting it what's what I can salvage in a pot. Um, and I'll keep these racks for later. This is my lime tree, which I don't know that it's going to survive. I put these Christmas lights on it because um, I read somewhere that Christmas lights might keep it warm enough to uh, survive the winter. I should have just brought it in when it got cold instead. This was my cactus pot. Now this was jade. This was aloe vera. It's, it's very much dead. However, this guy, I used to know what he was called. Um, he is just doing fantastic. I got his little babies here. They grow right down here and I pick them off and then I planted them and they're doing great. They don't care how damn cold it is. I got a little flower there that's trying to survive the cold. Then I've got all these guys that I started seeds or I pulled the plants out because they've long since been dead. And from year to year, I've always like saved my soil and then tried to put a little compost in it. But I'm gonna actually get rid of all the soil just because I don't know what's in it and I don't wanna take the time to bake it. And most of it's probably pretty drained. There's probably no nutrients left in it. This was cat grass. Um, these were some failed attempts to grow from seed. The seedlings died, uh, too cold let it dry out, had it inside, didn't have enough sun. These are these cute little tiny pots. These were some flowers. Oh, let's see if I can get him out. You can see that's gross and really wet. Oh God, ooh, and it's covered in ants. Oh, gross, 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 oh. Ooh, I don't mind bugs, but I don't like when bugs surprise me. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, gross. Gross. Oh, man. Look at them go. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm going to have to clean this guy out. Oh, gross. Ooh, that might put me off from doing anything. So I got these other pretty pots. Um, I really like these designs. I've had these for a little while. I've got to clean them out. He didn't make it very long. I really should have brought him inside. I brought some of my other tropicals inside. I don't think any of these guys are going to survive. So let's go ahead and throw him in the yard. I'm going to go through and I'm going to chop all that stuff up. And I'm going to kind of hide it along the fence row. This is my grapevine. Now they go dormant in the winter. However, I'm not sure if he has survived. Normally if you scratch it back and there's green that means it's alive, but I'm not sure 
That's definitely not. I'm not sure if this guy's alive. Um, I might have to look up some tests and find out. The wind's starting to get a little strong. Try to get out of the wind. This is actually a type of blueberry plant here. He seems to really not mind the cold. It seems to be doing pretty good. He actually looks like he has some fresh buds on there. Let me zoom out. See if I can get him to zoom in. Come on. Come on. Focus. Focus. I'm going to put it really close. There we go. So he's got some fresh buds on him. So we'll definitely keep this guy. This is a small lemon tree I got. It was on clearance because it was already pretty sick. Zoom out. I don't think he survived the winter. He definitely doesn't look like it. Uh, this is dead. It's not green when I scratch it back. However, actually, if I go up here... This is still pretty green and moist. This tree may still um, bud up once it warms up. So I may clip back all these dead branches and repot him and bring him with me because he may come back to life. Um, get rid of him. He was a pepper plant. I got rid of that pepper plant. There's another pot. I've still got some steaks here. I grew him from seed. He's doing pretty good. He's uh, some kind of fancy kale. Um, it's real pretty. Um, he's got thick right there. I'm expecting these guys will last me well into the summer before they die. Um, what else do I got going on? Ooh, those bugs. That's so gross. Um, ooh, that's gross. Gross, gross, gross. Right up here are strawberries. They're actually doing fairly well, all things considered. And then right over here I have some oregano. And there's actually quite a bit in there that's doing okay. Um, I'm going to be, again, taking these guys out and planting them in some of the pots to salvage them and nursing them back to health with the grow lights. Um, and then right here is some of my stuff. There's an old planting bag. Here's some old pots. Got some pretty pots. Got a lot of large planters in here and little planters. I got some lava rocks here. I've got some small white rocks, which I usually use for drainage. Um, then there's some mis miscellaneous little pots and things. I've got to go through all this and organize it and sort it and clean it up. Um, I was going to do it today, but it's starting to get really cold. So I might not be doing that today. And also my drip system right now, I've got this timer on this drip system, which I have it off right now. I actually need to turn it back off. I turned it on for a little while earlier. Um, okay. That's now off, but I've got this one pipe going all the way around. He goes here, and then you've got a tube going up, 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 up. Then there's little drips, drippers in each one of my baskets. And then there's misters here. So this misted this whole area. This whole area used to be full of pots and plants. Some I have inside, some died. Um, some I transplanted into larger pots. And then out there, I had all my stuff that I was actually growing in pots, like potato, uh, tomatoes and peppers and my kales and some other things. Um, so I've got to cl clean all these out and bleach them. And, ooh. Ew. Gross. So that's going to be a project. I'm hoping to get that done the next day or two. I may still start on it tonight. But the temperature's dropping. It was in the upper 60s, and it's probably down into the lower 50s now, and it's going down fast along with the sun. So, anyways, that's, that's where I stand. That's what I'm up to. Um, these vlogs progressively as I... I'm going to go inside where you guys can maybe hear me. These vlogs as I progressively get... Um, turn this over. More experienced. Zoom out more. Uh, a little more experience, experienced. I'm going to try to do more focused ones, um, such as like, I'll do one specifically on the, the butterfly garden and what I planted in it exactly. And the importance of drip systems and how to set up a drip system and reviews and different things like that. Um, 
and just things like that. But in general, most of these videos are gonna be kind of just general. This is what's going on. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm planning on doing. I'm really wanting to start some seeds soon. Let's go out there and look at the, the drip system real quick. It's gonna be dark for a second. Oh, see the, not drip system, I'm a retard. Uh, grow light system I have on some of my little plants inside. So I've got this right here. I can see that there's some little bugs in here. There's a butterfly moth, dude. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, uh, okay, if you, if you wanna hang out in here, I don't care. Yeah, cool, you're cool, you're fine. So yeah, I've got my goodies here. My basil's really enjoying this light. Um, it start, the leaves are getting a darker green, which I guess is good. I think it's good. <laughs> um, and my parsley's actually getting a little more stocky. It's actually growing up. Let me zoom out here. It's getting more firm where it's actually able to stand on its own uh, a bit. So I might be able to get this going well, but since I started it so weak, and it got so leggy because it didn't have enough uh, light, it might not work out. Now all these, I really shouldn't even have these near here because I need to clean all these out and bleach them as well. Um, just get rid of all this old soil and bleach it. Um, I don't wanna use chemicals, but I, I need to do something to make sure these are completely disinfected. Now these plants, I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact they may have things in them right now. Like I don't see any rot or any like, build up like this little white stuff on the side it's probably fine but you can see how there's stuff kind of looking there that might be growing that stuff can be for seedlings that stuff is really bad and it's possible like that's what's causing these to do so poorly is um, whatever's going on growing in there may have damaged the root system during its early development. Established plants aren't quite as susceptible to most of this stuff but babies just like babies human babies have you had a human baby and you threw it into the woods. I'm not telling you to do that, by the way. That would be terrible. Um, it probably wouldn't do well, would it? Um, baby plants are the same way. They're highly susceptible to cold, heat, wet, not wet, too much elements, you know, diseases, damage. Like when you pick up a plant, you should pick, like a baby, you pick it up by its leaves. You never, especially when it's young, you don't ever want to squeeze this guy, the stem because it's really easy to damage it. Now these guys are doing a lot better, they're a lot firmer. But if I took him and I squeezed him here, even not very light, like even as light as I'm doing it now, that probably is gonna damage that. And even though it might not droop over, it's never gonna do as well because I, I did that. I don't know what's going on here, but it's trying to do some stuff. These strawberries, I don't think they like how cold it's gotten out here. <laughs> so they're a little droopy. Again, I probably won't do much with those. Now here, I think I let this dry out a little bit. I've got it, the, this dome on here because it creates a bit of a greenhouse effect. And this lamp here is pretty warm. So inside of here, it's pretty warm actually, um, compared to out here. So let's see what's going on there. So we got some, we got some uh, action going on. Got some roots developing on those. Yeah, there's some roots going on here. So they're all doing all right. I need to get it re-moist in it because they're probably a little bit dry. Right here I have some filtered water. I need to get my own filtered water system because chlorine in water is really not good, especially for baby plants. That should be enough moisture for those guys. Because again, when I put this guy on, as you can see, you can see all that condensation built up. It creates a little mini ecosystem. Okay. So there was that. And so there's just a little update of what's going on. Actually, is my door open? Damn it, no. I have some soil in there, but I'll show you guys in another video. Okay, this is me actually leaving this time. Coming back in here. Coming back in here. And I will see you guys next time I see you. And hopefully I'm gonna have a lot more to show you guys. And I'm gonna start getting this stuff together. I'm doing the prep work for a successful garden, um, which is really important and something I don't usually do. I usually just toss together whatever I can toss together. Um, so I really want to, let me flip this over. I'm probably zoomed in really far and I, eh, not too bad. So I wanna do good prep work, 
clean out all these pots, get them all organized, um, not just grab what's available. The plants that I have that are healthy, I want to try to isolate them from any new plants or seedlings um, during the initial growing phase. So I want to make sure whatever they may have, they don't pass along to help make sure we have more successful seedlings. Um, and when spring rolls around, I still may buy a few pre-grown pots and pans, not pots and pans, uh, seedlings, like, you know, starter plants, just to ensure we have a few good ones in case all the seedlings fail. But we'll just have to see, because um, even if you're an expert gardener, you're still gonna have seedlings fail, and I'm far from an expert gardener. Anyways, this is Century signing out, uh, and Spot's gonna say goodbye to you guys before we leave. Are you gonna say bye? Are you gonna say bye? Okay, you're not gonna say bye, but are you gonna say bye? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. See you guys next time.